Okay, we're going to demonstrate Lab Timer 2000, a uh, slot car timing program. So first off, uh, what does success look like? Well, let's drive the car by here. Okay, you get a noise, you get a lap counter, and if you go really quick the second time, you'll get a ding-dong, which we didn't get. Uh, the timing uh, gantry is in the back. Uh, let's see if I can point to it. Uh, yeah, right, right there. So I'm running infrared lights from Radio Shack that point down to the photo sensors in the track. So I bought the uh, two-lane uh, photo sensor cable from uh, the Lab Timer 2000 uh, software guy, Greg, and. It worked great for seven years but what happened is I my old computer here died and I tried two other computers that were Windows XP and I I could not get them to work after an insane amount of time so we're back to a Windows 98 computer that's working and I will give you uh, the properties here so Windows 98 second edition of course so that the uh, USB sticks work in the computer and 320 megs of RAM uh, trust me 64 doesn't work I just took some extra RAM uh, from a previous computer uh, threw it in there and uh, amazing it works so uh, again let's talk now about my settings so there's really only two settings um, to make lap timer 2000 work with a parallel port <clears throat> that I know of. I use the 10 second here, the 250 here, just blank uh, there, but it's the ports that are critical. So uh, I'm using LPT3 uh, and that's the only thing that works. And you can test this with the edit here. Go to test import out ports and what I want you to know is that a good setup uh, see I'm running lane 2 and 3 right lane 1 2 3 4 so a good setup lane 2 and 3 is closed the circuit is closed <clears throat> and when we uh, drive the car under watch lane 3 see how it went open for just a split second so that's uh, that's what you want to see uh, and if we go to the other uh, ports you're gonna see open right because they don't work open so this is a way of telling you that you're on the right LPT 3 setting because it says closed Now, let's just review what the uh, computer settings are, because I wasted a lot of time there uh, trying to get the Windows XP computer uh, to work that I eventually gave up on. And if we can find System, Open, Device Manager, and uh, yeah, I got one question mark here, doesn't matter, but you you cannot have a question mark in the sound category or else the sound will not work and that uh, defeats the purpose of the whole program right you gotta have sound so what's interesting is my printer port uh, is LPT1 which apparently is recommended normal but yet the lap timer 2000 is on LPT3 so I tried again with the Windows XT XP computers to uh, manipulate uh, these system settings and it did nothing. So uh, 
there's really not much to do here in Windows 98. Uh, Windows XP, they have another uh, tab here, but again, it didn't help me. There's my driver. It says April 23, 1999. And I'm using automatic settings. And this 3 Bravo Charlie matches up with the LPT3 setting in the program. I'll show you that. So really, um, automatic settings, it's all you need. Uh, and the Interrupt 7. Oh, and then also, I did notice in my bias, and I'll show you some pictures uh, later, that, of course, uh, the parallel port was enabled, and uh, it talks about the uh, settings here uh, that match up in the BIOS. 3 Bravo Charlie. So, again, that lines up with, uh, even though the system says LPT1, the program wants LPT3. So, in summary, we've shown you how to get your laptop with uh, 2000 to work.